good YouTube, it's your boy D Musa, more than just a pen gang gang. So the world is currently going crazy over this baby Yoda. First time I heard baby Yoda, I was like, what are you lot talking about? Baby Yoda. Like what? Because clearly Moose is not a part of this 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 um this 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 I don't know what you want to call it. Um world. Let's just say that. Um because I don't really watch TV like that. I'm always either creating or I'm in the gym. Or I'm creating or in the gym. I'm creating. <laughs> That's literally what I do all day, every day. So I don't watch TV like that. So I'm not really up to date with like, what's the new show? What's the new this? What's the new that? So when obviously people were telling me, baby Yoda, I was like, what are you smoking? Like, we're past Star Wars. No, we're not past Star Wars. Don't, don't, don't get me wrong. I still haven't seen the new one. But it was like, where? Where baby Yoda? Where? I ain't seen nothing about baby Yoda. Um, uh, so yeah. Then when they told me the, there's a new show called The Mandarin, um with baby yoda in it i was like what interesting which i still haven't seen because like i said i create i go gym i create i go gym and i create and i go gym that's what i do so watching tv shows is not really a thing i do unless it's a show i've seen before i might just play it whilst i'm creating my work and just let it run not really watching it because i've seen it so many times before like prison break come on um but yeah I decided to draw Baby Yoda and for some reason this took me way longer than I expected. I was like, okay, we're going to get in it, just bang it out in a couple hours, which we all do. Any other artist watching this right now can relate. You know, you're like, I'm going to complete this in three hours and you forget to add a zero. That's what you do. Um, so yeah, took me a very long time. Way longer. I went to London, came back and completed the drawing. That's, that's how long it so I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you do, make sure to smash the thumbs up. If you ain't already subscribed, subscribe to Demus. Oh, we're trying to reach that 200K, AKA we're trying to hit a million this year um, and spread the ballpoint pen love, the ballpoint pen life, because we're all about them cheap art supplies. Cause you don't need expensive art supplies to create realistic art. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, let's go get into this. Sit back, relax and enjoy the video. <laughs> Ooh, so today your boy has decided to hit you guys with a commentary. I'm coming with you with that smooth voice. I'm only playing. Anyway, so your way. So we started off with the eye as always. I just like to start with the eyes because I don't know. I'm just weird like that. I just feel like the eyes is the root of the soul. So it's the only way to start. But sometimes every now and then I like to start in the chin, which doesn't make no sense. Anyways, let's get back to the drawing. So baby Yoda, as you guys can see, your boy starting off slow and when it comes to like doing skin tone and stuff like that you need to start slow I think that's my biggest secret working layers now if you're not a patient person then maybe ballpoint pen ain't for you because ballpoint pen requires a lot of layers and a lot of patience as you can see I'm building up nice and slowly applying the black green brown because the green wasn't just green it wasn't just like a standard green ballpoint pen it wasn't light green it wasn't dark green it was like in the middle kind of grayish now again you can go off your own type of situation i like to get the image as close as i can to the reference photo um some artists like to go for their own unique extra you know that you certainly saw an uh, artist that like to make images like really dark um and like with dark values um and shadows and stuff and you have those artists that like to brighten up the image and make the image like pop um i'm almost like in the middle i like to sometimes i can go a bit too light um with my drawings um, and not apply so many shadows and good values dark values in able in order to make it pop um so that is a downside to my behalf but again as you guys can see i am drawing this freehand there's no pencil sketches no nothing it's just me and the pens hence why i'm building it up slowly and if you guys haven't noticed yet you see that I'm not when it comes to when I'm com <clears throat> when it comes to working in the area, I use the lightest color first. So you can see me when I'm like gonna do an eye or something or trying to change up a little bit. You see that I'll use the light green first, and then once I feel like okay, that's that's all right, I will start applying the other colors on top of it in order to build it up. Um, so that's almost like a safety net for me because obviously the lightest color. If I do make a mistake once i adjust and apply the other colors on top you won't no longer see that mistake if that makes any sense 
um so again that's a little tip there for you guys i'm guessing that's probably why you guys love these commentaries because i give you I'll give you the backstory of course of the drawing and i'll also give you some tips um to help you guys out which is why i'm here i want obviously i want to entertain you guys but i also want to give you guys some bullpen pen knowledge for those of you that are trying to aspire to be a bullpen pen artist um these tips can be very helpful so i literally did it here with the air i did a light green first then i applied the black and now i'm just building up slowly and with bullpen pen if you want it to look realistic you have to build it up nice and slowly and progressively and i know that takes time but that is it you know um there's no surprise why these hyper realistic artists spend 30 40 50 hours on an a4 image is because it takes a ton of time to get it as accurate as possible um and obviously bullpen pen is, is an image built up with lines so you can only imagine how many lines i'm doing especially with this air look at this air if you guys go back a little bit see the way that air developed it was literally i started off by using a bit of pink and a green and then all of a sudden it's just building 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 again this is why i love watching these videos myself is because i can see the way i work um i'm about to do that technique that i was talking to you guys about right now here with the eye <clears throat> as you guys can see wait let me see if i can show you guys in a second so here green you see using the light green to shape out the eye and now i was like okay that's good let's bring the black in and i can do all the inner details and stuff so that saves me but if i did make a mistake or sometimes i draw like the space a little bit too big so that way it's easier for me to chop it down but if you draw it too small then of course you are in trouble but that's why I'm, I'm here obviously talking to you guys i use shadows you know lines anything i can use to my advantage to get the proportions as accurate as possible i will do i use all aspects of the drawing like to do that eye i didn't just use like the other eye you know measure it up and stuff like that i did do that but i also did other things like shadows of the nose and okay i know that the eye doesn't go past the mouth you know things like that um so it's almost like a puzzle game and i love puzzles me i love them puzzles i can sit and play puzzles all day every day um but yeah as you can see with the top of the head um it's white you know it's lighting and obviously the paper is white as well so i was like hmm i don't like it i want to add a background and you know us lot we're about that hashtag no background needed um but this one hashtag background needed <laughs> background was definitely needed for this drawing in order to make that white and shadow pop a bit more um so i will end up i ended up adding a background guys um but yeah letting the paper do the work is another thing that I see some people make a mistake of they don't let the paper do its job when it comes to like highlights and stuff if you don't have a white gel pen then let the paper do the work you know it's there to help you um but here with the i don't know what you want to call it cloak jacket whatever that is i don't know what it is but because it was rough it only made sense to do it rough obviously try and keep it as clean as possible but it wouldn't make sense for me to try and draw this rough looking cloak smooth you know you understand what i'm saying like it's rough but i'm trying to draw it smooth it doesn't make sense it, because it's rough i need to also draw it rough but keep it clean <laughs> i don't know how to explain it you know um but i tried my best to make it look as sorry about my little headphone wire coming in there i was live streaming this so yeah um but yeah <laughs> um i tried my best to make it look as accurate as possible with the reference photo as you can see a ton of layers layers is very important in order to create that realistic drawing and um, but yeah as you can see we're starting to add the background look at the top left where the where we're starting to add the black lines again this is the thing i want the background to be pretty dark but i'm still building it up slow and an impatience thing is a lot is a something that i hear a lot when it comes to people asking me questions about ballpoint pen they're like oh how are you so patient like how are you so patient and like I, I can't be that patient it takes so much time um I, I love the process you know what i mean i don't look at the whole time i'm like i'm enjoying this so i don't really care how long it takes me um i'm actually considered a pretty fast drawer i don't know how long this whole thing took me it took way longer than i wanted it to but i think it took me like a solid like eight hours um but i was definitely really happy with my approach and applying this background i feel like I, if i didn't it would just it was such a game changer for me applying this background and i normally don't do that 
and yeah, here, here comes the best part. Oh, guys, I can't deal. I can't deal with the peeling, man. The peeling gets me so excited. Oh my, it's like having an orgasm. Sorry for the kids. Kids, don't don't skip that one. <laughs> but yeah, oh my goodness, look at it. It's just so clean. Look at the lines, man. I can't deal. Oh no, 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 no. it's too good. It's too good. I'm getting sorry. I'm like a child on Christmas. Hey, look at those lines. Hey, mate, clean. Also, I'm talking clean. Comment clean if you if you're liking. Oh, I can't. Anyways, that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. Catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace. So there is the finished version of my baby Yoda. As you can see, it came up pretty sick. I always have this thing with my drawings. There's like an ugly stage. You know, I don't know, maybe it's all artists as well. Um, it's an ugly stage where you're just like, wait a minute, this shouldn't be looking like this. What's going on? But you just got to keep working at it, build up the layers, and all of a sudden you're like, I shouldn't have stopped. And I feel like this so many times when it comes to creating art, I'm always like, hmm. But obviously I've got used to it over the years that there's always going to be an ugly stage which is like, ugh, what am I doing? Um, just part of the drawing, and you just got to carry on going, keep working at it, keep... We don't quit, we don't do that thing there. Um, but yeah, as you can see, freehand, no pencil sketch, no nothing, just went for it. Um, this is actually my favorite way of drawing. And I know for most people, it's the most dumb way of drawing. You know, there's no structure, there's no like thing. But I do do a lot of calculating. Hence why it takes me so much longer than like my footballer drawings, which are already sketched out. Um, so when it comes to these ones, it's like I have to use, instead of 100% focus, I have to do 150 because obviously I'm using ink one mistake the drawing's done um which some people don't really register they're just like oh that looks cool and i don't really register that if i mess up once the whole thing's done <laughs> um uh, yeah so i guess that's that's pretty much what i wanted to say um here's to the most underrated artist on youtube which I, I get that comment so much and it hurts me so much so hopefully this year we can get people saying i'm the most overrated artist on youtube so we get the people talking because that's what that's what that's what the internet wants, isn't it? Was people talking, and that's how you get famous by people talking. If people ain't talking, you ain't doing shit. <laughs> so get the talking people talk, man. Talk, man. Talk. Spread the word. Tell him that this this ballpoint pen artist he's so overrated. Go check him out. Uh, <laughs> I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching, and I appreciate you all. Peace.